Um, hi, I'm Lauren Gray, and today I'm going to teach you how to um, solve equations using your calculator. So I know uh, most of the equations I'm going to show you today um, can be easily solved um, by hand, but knowing how to do it in the calculator is a good way to check and make sure you didn't make any mistakes in your calculation. So the main thing to look out for in today's video is um, I'm going to show you how you can get the right view of the graph, um, how to find the intersections, aka finding the solutions, and how to find the zeros in a quadratic equation. So the first equation that I'm going to start with today is a simple linear equation. It's just 64 equals 8 times x plus 8. So, so whenever you solve this by hand, you would distribute the 8, um, subtract the 16, and divide by 8. And you get x equals 6. So let's see if we can get that same answer in the calculator. What you do is you go to y equals, and you have to plug in um, the first value into y1. So you do 64, and then inside of y2, you plug in the value on the other side. So we've got 8 times x plus 2. Okay, from there, um, you just click graph. And as you can see, in this standard window, you can't see both of the graphs. So the way that we can change that, there are actually two ways to change it. Um, the first way would be to change the windows. So whenever you are graphing something, um, we know that the first equation would be y equals 64. When y is equal to a constant, you know it's just going to be a straight line, just like that. And we know that the value will be 64. So you know you're looking for a straight line at the value 64. So, you just have to tell your calculator that. So, you have to go to your window, which is how much the calculator will allow you to see of the graph, and you go to y min. So, if you know that the line you're looking for is at 64, you'd want to choose a value below 64 to be the minimum thing you can see. So, we'll just go with 50. Oh, that's definitely max. Okay, 50. Okay, and a value that's above 64 for your y max can just be 80. It doesn't really matter. Okay, and then now when I click graph, and there's my 64, and there's my other equation. So now we see both of the equations, and we see where they intersect. So um, to find the x equals 6, you would go to second, trace, and you're presented with all of these options. And you want to know where they intersect, because that's where they equal each other. And that would give you the answer. So second trace, 5. And then you have to choose your first curve, which is the 64 line. Your second curve, which is this one. And enter. And you say guess. And it gives you x equals 6 and y equals 64. And that's exactly what you had when you, uh, well, what we had when we wrote it out by hand. So you know we were right. Okay. So um, now the next equation we're going to do is another linear equation, just a simple um, five times two plus four x equals eighty-five. Um, I'm not going to go through the pain of doing it by hand. I already know how to do that. So I'm just going to show you how to do it in the calculator, like the other one. So you go to y equals. You type in your first side. Five, two plus four x. And like before, you can't see the 85. So instead of changing the windows like we did last time, I'm going to teach you a different method. And this one's probably a little simpler. You just go to zoom and you click zero. If I, um, when you scroll down and you look at what zoom zero is, it's zoom fit. So basically the calculator chooses what it thinks you need to see out of both of the graphs. So it shows correctly, you can see both the graphs. And then um, you do second, um, you can do second calc and intersect again. Enter, enter, enter one more time, and you've got x equals 3.75. So that's probably what you would have gotten if you did it by hand. Um, so, yeah, easy way to check. So now we're going to get into some quadratics. So basically, um, we've got a simple one y equals negative 2 x squared plus 1, and I'm going to plug it into y equals. And then I'm going to do x, change this little x squared button right here, into x squared, and then plus 1. Okay, I'm going to graph that. Oh, 
it's still has the old windows. Okay, so whenever, I never change the windows from the last problem. So basically when the windows are all messed up like this, you can just do zoom six, and that is the standard window for, it's just negative 10, positive 10 all around. So basically you can see here that it crosses the x axis at two places and that's where you find your solutions in a quadratic. It's the solution, zero, x intercept, it's all the same thing. So the way that you do it in the calculator is you go to second calc and there's one already for it. It's zero, so it's just number two. Okay, and it's gonna ask you for the left bound. So for your first intersection, uh, intersection you just go to the left side of it and click enter. I went really far, you don't have to go that far. And then for the right bound, you can just go to above the x-axis where it's on the right side. Click enter, click enter again, and it'll give you your answer for this solution. So for quadratics, we know that you are given two solutions most of the time. So this is your one solution, and then to find the other solution, you do the same thing, but on the other side. All right, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have learned a little bit about checking your um, answers for solving equations inside of the calculator.